Twas the night before Christmas. When all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. 40 degrees Celsius today, here in Alice Springs, Australia. And folks, it is Christmas Eve. It is 9.39, December 24th, 2019. What a year. And I'm not telling you that in a good way. It's been an absolute roller coaster, but here we are. I'm making this video not only for my YouTube audience, but for myself and for my daughters in the future. I've bought them a few little things, nothing crazy, nothing, nothing over the top. I mean, my eldest is not even two yet, and my youngest is only five or six months. So, you know, it would probably be pretty pointless to have spent a hell of a lot. I'm thinking next year, I'm thinking next year when Tate, my eldest, is, is talking a bit more and I really know what she does enjoy, then uh, I'll probably be able to sp splash out a little bit more. But today, uh, today I thought I'd <clears throat> just have a bit of fun on camera and, you know, something in real time. I will release this video tomorrow on Christmas Day, hopefully. Wishing everyone a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. That's it, basically. We're just going to wrap the presents and uh, I'll shut the camera off and I'll see you in about eight or nine hours when the kids arrive in the morning. Thinking back to when I was a kid, you know, Christmas Day was the shit, wasn't it? It was just a, 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 a great day, a, a day where you didn't have to worry about anything. You had no responsibilities as a kid. All you got was amazing food presented to you at every corner. You know, you got all your gifts from different family members. It was, you know, I used to get money. We used to, we used to come home at the end of the day with, with gifts, with money, with uh, clothes, you know. Oh new sports equipment, shoes, all sorts of different things. And, and you know, I, I can see why that happens. I can see why, you know, parents do splurge and do, you know, splash out on birthdays and Christmases. And it's because it brings you joy. It, 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 especially if you do teach your kids the value of money early on and you do, you know, not spoil them too much. To spoil them a bit on their, on their birthdays and Christmas, I mean, it... Hopefully they deserve it, you know what I mean? And, and even if they don't, it's going to bring joy to your life. You know it's going to be a good day. They're getting what they want. And, uh, you know, you can, you can just enjoy it as a family. And I guess I've got all of that to look forward to. It does take you back when you think, holy shit. Yeah, this was me. <laughs> this was me 25 years ago. I, I was feeling what my, what my kids are going to be feeling in the next few years. But um, anyway, I was told one thing. And that was that I needed to get a tree. So that was the first thing I bought. Um, probably a rookie move, trying to buy a tree on Christmas Eve, but I did get one. <laughs> and I'll show you that right now. Voila! <laughs> so, Miffy, the kid's mum, cannot say I didn't get a tree. Everyone needs a tree. I've got lights, believe it or not. Uh, yep. Probably a few too many lights, but we're still going to light it up. So we'll, we'll wrap the presents, we'll light the tree up, and put the presents under the tree. I've actually got two little presents that uh, Miffy has kindly bought on behalf of the kids for me, which is super awesome. And I can't wait to open them. I don't know what they are. Hopefully, you know, I, I assume Miffy's pretty good with, with, you know, gifts and things that mean a lot to one another. So, uh... I'm assuming it's going to be something to do with the kids, and I'm going to love it. But anyway, there you go. The tree. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Secondly, I have a star to put on the top so we know what it is. I mean, that could be, that could be a bloody bonsai tree for all we know. But now... Now, you try and tell me, you just try and tell me that that doesn't look. Watch this. I'll get you. You just try and tell me that that doesn't look like a Christmas tree. Go on, try. Okay, and we've got the lights. Ah. Even though it's going to be daytime tomorrow, it gets, it gets light at like 5 in the morning here at the moment. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's horrible. 
because not only is it light, but it's already nearly 30 degrees Celsius. Um, shit. These weren't tangled before. And now they seem to be tangled. What am I doing? What am I doing wrong here? Oh, shit. Shit. Nick Mana is coming to town. Okay, let's feed these through a little bit. You better not cry. Guys, just think back. Think back to some of your most fond Christmas memories. If you do celebrate Christmas, of course. I mean, I was never brought up religious or even told what the true meaning of Christmas even was. And to be honest, even at this stage, I don't really know for sure. But, um, you know, it's just a... It's just a fun time. It's a cool time. It's the end of the year. It's people are on holidays. Kids are on holidays. It's just a good time, isn't it? Good time all round. Let's try and see what happens. Oh, they're coloured. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? The star's really a little bit big, isn't it? No, oh, there we go. Perfect. In three, two, one. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad at all. What do you do, man? I'm that dad. I'm that dad this year that's completely hopeless when it comes to Christmas. Just does the bare essentials, you know, just gets through. But at least I'm doing something. And it's made me feel really good. Getting out there. Going and choosing a few different things for my daughters, it's made me feel festive. And to be honest, the last five years straight, I have worked on Christmas Day. Thank God this year, I don't have to work. I can spend it, spend at least the morning with my kids. My sister lives here in Alice as well. I'm going to go over to her place at lunchtime. Um, she's actually just moved out of this apartment. Me, my mum and my sister were living here for the last like nine months. It's been... Well, it's, it's been... It's been good actually, it's been really good, you know, um, I guess building those close relationships again with both my sister and my mum, but it was basically because I was broke. Broke as a motherfucker. And they basically helped me out. They were renting this unit off of me, and I came in here and lived here basically rent free. But I didn't have a bedroom. So now finally, the night before Christmas, I finally got my apartment to myself. And I'll tell you what, it feels good. It's been a long time coming. And, um, it, you know, it's just in time for Christmas, Christmas Day. Unfortunately, I'm not going to wake up with my kids, but the second best thing, they'll be here at like 7.30 or 8 in the morning, hopefully, maybe even 9, depending on when they finish over it at the, the main house. And um, I'll spend some time with them, and I'll bring the camera out and get them on camera, open out their presents, and, you know, this will be a video for the... The vault. A video for the family diaries, you know what I mean? For the future. So I'm gonna stop talking now. The first two presents underneath the tree. Two daddy from Tate and Tristan. And it's quite heavy, I don't know what it is, but it's very exciting. And another one, two daddy from Tate and Tristan. How fucking cute is that? I don't know what it is, man. It just makes me makes me almost feel like crying, seriously. That is so cute, and that is Miffy's doing. So, much love to Miffy, much respect to Miffy. I haven't got her anything. What do you do? What do you do, guys? Life is a roller coaster, just gotta ride it. <laughs> okay, so I will, I guess, um, show you guys what I got my my two little girls. So for the eldest, Tate, I have a write and draw water mat, which is basically like one of those old sketcher things. We'll see how it works in the morning. Fill the pen and write or draw on the mat for hours of creative fun. The pen will only work on the mat. Okay, so hopefully we can uh, draw a few pictures. She'll take that back to her house with her. I've also got her this book. 
and um, you know hopefully we'll be able to read that together and yeah it's just cute I mean it says on the back you're going to be a big sister that's so lucky for you babies love their big sisters and all of the things that they do help any new big sister work through what to expect when the new baby arrives and reassure her that although things will change they will only change for the better so this book is actually designed for kids you know before the, the baby comes but I'm sure you know even just looking at that picture I know she'll think straight away that's me and me and Tristan so can't wait for her to, to see that and, and read that with her tomorrow morning so we've got two things for her and thirdly I've got a frozen gingerbread house or it's a cookie castle and um, there's everything you need inside to decorate it in all sorts of different colors and it's gonna look something like that I assume although I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let her do it of course so uh, you know we'll see what it comes out like but that's that looks delicious actually I wish I could eat it now and the little one obviously she's too young she's not really I guess communicating and <laughs> she's not really communicating except for crying um, and smiling of course and every now and then she'll say ah! like a really loud burst of like noise you want to call it screaming you want to call it squealing whatever you want to call it it's cute but I've got her three books a classic a classic where is the very hungry caterpillar and you guys will probably know that book and I've got her two small little first readers books which I've always enjoyed she probably won't be reading it for a while but Tate definitely will be and these books are actually just gonna go to my little collection that I'm building here so every book that Tate's been bought in the past from me or from someone from my family I've got over there and um, all of these will be going on a pile and that's it man it's part of having kids you know makes me happy when I look over there and see her toys and, and books and stuff makes me really happy so now the job is to wrap all these I've got six six meters worth of wrapping tape I'm hoping it's enough I'm sure it will be well there's nothing left to do but to do it so let's do it <laughs> the fun part I need some scissors scissors don't they say that guys can't wrap presents for shit let's see if I can break the mold see what happens here must admit I haven't wrapped a present for a fair while I actually used to be quite a selfish person um, I would much rather keep things for myself than give but the older I get the more I realize that you get more happiness from giving actually rather than sitting there by yourself with all your possessions fuck that that's just silly Tristan R uh, how do you spell T R I S T Y N Love Heart Okay And now I'm just thinking imagine in a few years when your kids can actually understand fully what's going on and if they were like genuinely really really disappointed and like started crying and you know they can't help that they don't they, they can't help what they what they really really want but if you can't provide it to them, Christmas could be a very, very tough time. It's always going to be a priority of mine to be able to <clears throat> at least provide, you know, things at certain times like birthdays and Christmas. Bloody important, you know. Even if, you know, even if my kids do end up moving away again, which could well happen, uh, this time I probably won't follow as, as suddenly as I did last time. But wherever they are, whatever I'm doing, you know, I've made a pact already to myself and to Miffy and to my children, even though they don't know it, that I will be there present every single birthday, every single Christmas, regardless. Goldilocks and the three bears. <laughs> if you go down to the woods today, you better and better. You're sure of a big surprise. Cause every bear that ever there was the teddy bears have their picnic I know that's a completely different nursery rhyme or, or whatever but that was actually one of my favourites as a kid teddy bears picnic it was I had the book but you sung the book for whatever reason <laughs> or at least that's how I remember it going and 
Books, man. Books, books, books. Books are always something I really was big on buying for my kids. And like I said, I'm just adding to the collection every time. I think <laughs> she's not going to know what this is, but she's going to love it regardless. And so am I, because I'll probably end up eating half of it. See, I wanted, I, I actually went out looking for a miniature basketball hoop. That's what I wanted to get Tate, but I couldn't find one. And so I thought, you know what, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just going to get her some small things. But as of like next year, possibly the year after, I think I'm going to get her something really cool, you know. I guess I'm always going to look for things that they can use their mind with and things that are sports related as well so it gets them outside rather than just pointless toys but we'll see <laughs> if I take Tate shopping and she's like crying and, and desperately wants a doll or something I'm sure I'm sure I'll have to give in at some point but you know you pick your battles don't you love art for Tate oh look at that woohoo hey eh? just for you Tate just for you Right, too small. Let's use the rest of it. Let it snow, let it snow. So delightful. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Present number three. Going under the tree. You know, I have been known to be a bit of a Grinch the last few years, but. Having kids now, it's a totally different story. Totally different. Alright, alright guys. So, it's about time I probably head to bed, actually. It's Christmas Eve. Once again, I want to say a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of you guys out there. This video may be coming out on Christmas Day for you. It might be coming out before Christmas Day. It might even come out on Boxing Day. Who knows? But all I can say is, is that I cannot wait to sit here with my kids beside our little Christmas tree. Two for me, three for Tate, and three for Tristan. And I am sweating actually, it's freaking hot. It's still like 38 degrees outside. It's ridiculous. Anyways, that's us. So, <laughs> one last time I will say a very good night. And, um, well I'll see you in the morning. Peace out everybody.